You might not realize you love Jackie Buscarino, but if you grew up watching cartoons, you're probably a huge fan of her work. Her daughter's name is Olive. She has a daughter. She's worked on various shows throughout her illustrious career, nationwide household shows, shows like SpongeBob SquarePants. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! The Powerpuff Girls, Rick and Morty, Dexter's Laboratory, Adventure Time, Gravity Falls, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack, Chowder, Camp Laszlo, Steven Universe, the list goes on. Jackie has definitely made her mark on the cartoon industry, but that doesn't mean she always knew she wanted to do this. Hey, just so you know, I I'm actually 14, so, you know. What? Not 12. Okay. I was really silly, like very always um, clowning around, but um, as far as specifically like voiceover or producing or writing. Um, I think I did typical things that other little kids did of like writing short stories and things like that. But there wasn't anything in my childhood that stood out that my parents or anybody thought, wow, she's going to be a producer or writer. I don't know. I didn't really have like a, oh, I, I love animation. I'm going to be in animation. That's not how it happened at all. So it was just a coincidence that at Nickelodeon, um, there was an intern for like a um, human resources position. Somehow I got that number, called the woman who was running that program and she said, um, can you come in today for an internship? And I was like, uh, okay. She's like, yeah, our, our intern just left. So can you come right now? So much of like show, show business or whatever you want to call it is about timing and luck. It was just that timing that she had gotten this resume and called my number, I picked up, somebody had quit, and that's, that's how I got my first internship at Nickelodeon. In animation, uh, like the first big show I worked on was SpongeBob SquarePants, working with all these really creative people, and there was so many like great weirdos on SpongeBob in the early, early days, that those people are what I was like, I always want to be around these people. Presently, I'm producing Steven Universe. Um, you walk around and you start seeing people in Steven Universe t-shirts or um, I was at Disneyland and I heard a, um, a group of girls talking about the show and it was like, oh, the show is, is big. I voiced a character named like, Sally Syrup. Sally! Flapjack? And some other incidental characters on Flapjack and like uh, Penn Ward liked the sound of my voice and so then I got to do roles on Adventure Time and so it's just kind of this chain reaction. Your creativity or your motivation can get lost when you have a, like a the day-to-day -day daily grind. I know um, like um, artists and producers within animation feel that it's like you're still coming into work from nine to five every day, five days a week and it feels like a, a daily grind but when you see like um, oh, what I contributed to this project, when, when it reaches like little kids who, um, you know, reach out to you, um, can you sign this thing? Or, oh, my kid loves the show. Or like we get Make-A-Wish kids that come, come in and their wish is to meet Rebecca Sugar, who's the creator of Steven Universe. And the whole crew gets together. When you see that type of um, reaction and energy from the people who are watching the show, that's what makes me, I don't know if the word would be motivate me, but it makes me feel like I have a purpose. Go!